ได้ได้ได้มามาได้ได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามาได้มามา
and you can always go on tangents in between. Yeah. But we're going to be exploring an overarching story. Do I need like tea we for did. this? Yes, you do. It's Mama, good. can I have a cup of tea, please? It's just like, you remember Jani Dushman? Jani Dushman was so much fun. Oh, Jani Dushman was fun. Yeah. So the same thing was very similar. But today we're going to be exploring something which is actually true. Something which we actually exist, but we don't really think about because it doesn't really affect our lives as much. But it's actually quite interesting because it does give the psyche of what uh, Asian person is. That's what I would say. What an Asian person is. I don't know. That's, that's what I got out of this you know, lesson. Maybe you can get out something else, but I'll tell you the story. Anyways. Uh, so the story is about Korea. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you think of Korea, Kinle, mm -hmm. what is some things you think about? What is the first thing that comes in your head when you say Korea? Nuclear war. Okay, fair. What else? Which Korea are we talking about? Just here? South Korea, fine. Oh, okay. South Korea. Um, I think of plastic surgery. Okay, fine. I think of very, very... <clears throat> um, I think of Korean pop groups. Okay, K-pop. Yeah, I think of really good food. Okay, mm -hmm. very fair. Uh, I think of Samsung. Great, because that is the topic of today. Samsung. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about kimchi. Okay. No, Samsung. <laughs> Good. At least you got there. At least you got the trail of thought which I usually people will go through. Mm -hmm. But uh, for many other, for people who live outside of Korea, usually you think K-pop and the food and all that shit is the main thing we know about Korea. Yeah. But if you're a Korean who live, who lives in Korea, something which is, what, what do you call, what's prevalent? Is it prevalent? Something yeah, something which is it's prevalent. Ev which everywhere. Is... No. Is cool. Conspicuous. Conspicuously mm -hmm. is uh, Samsung. Mm -hmm. So, why Samsung? You would say, no. Mm -hmm. So, like in Korea, they're just saying, like, three things are inevitable in life. What are those two things which we all know? I didn't hear you. Could you say that? What are three things in life which are inevitable? Inevitable? Yeah. Death, uh -huh. pain, Texas. Death, Texas, and for Korean, Samsung. Okay. And why? <laughs> <you> <laughs> I went mean, with death and pain. Okay. Death, pain, and Samsung. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So Puff, that could be a nice Netflix series. Death <laughs> Being in <and> Samsung. <laughs> After the story, maybe we can. Yeah, we, we'll start scripting out our own. Okay. So, Kashlo, Samsung, the, uh, we know Samsung is big more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Samsung, I won't even ask you like well, how big you think Samsung is. Samsung is basically makes up 20% of Korea's GDP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're not very a financially familiar person, what that means necessarily in context more. Whatever money the entire country makes, 20% of that is Samsung's. Yes, simplifying. Samsung yeah. But then people will say 20% are not that much, no. But I'll put it in context. Like in America, more, the ph entire pharmaceutical industry, do you know? Big pharma, yeah, yeah shout big out. pharma. 20% of the economy. Okay. Uh, sorry, GDP in okay. America. So Samsung, one company, one single company is that of Korea, man. So that's how mm -hmm. if you want to put it in the context. Oh, so you, when you say big pharma, you mean every, every, every the entire industry, private medical entire industry. Entire industry. Okay. That's how big Samsung is. Okay. Like, but is it bigger than the war industry in America? Samsung also makes tanks, also. You know that. Swipe right. <laughs> uh huh. See, we, we forgot. We forget about that. We just know Samsung to make electronics and phones, man. Mm -hmm. But Samsung originally started as like, uh, you know, like so a that's why they wouldn't company. let. That's why they wouldn't let me carry my Samsung tank onto the plane. Yeah, it will explode by the <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. Yeah. No, anyway, no. So, like... Uh, but, oh, sorry, just to cut you off. Say, say. I do remember reading that, you know, in, I think Korea has inheritance tax. Yes. Yeah, South Korea has inheritance tax. Actually, so, has one of the highest... No, yeah, no, 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 so, no, no, no. Not, not South Korea. Which country was it? But I, all I know is that the, when Samsung... I, I think it's South Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when Samsung did, when when... When they had to pay inheritance tax, they paid close to a billion mm. USD mm. just in inheritance tax. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to give like 50 percent in over there. Mm. So, like, imagine you're a billionaire, no? 40, 50 billion empire. Yeah. Government's having a good party there. Yeah, they gave 1 billion tax. Tax in tax. <laughs> tax in tax. That's interesting more. Yeah. Okay. So, you go, going on about Okay, so uh, Samsung, like, to give a context about Samsung, Samsung initially started like by well, one guy and he was like basically this fishing company. Correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but it was like a trading company. Maybe they sold like chicken or some fish or some stuff like that. It was a small Dogs. trading company. Huh? Dogs. Possibly. Well, South Korea is doing that, no? They've given a three year, um, they've given, they're going, to, they're going to criminalize eating dogs. So they've given three years for all of those uh, companies or people who 
who who work in the dog meat trade mm. to giving them three years to find employment elsewhere because in three years they're going to shut down that entire business. So now how are you going to change your diet now, Kinle? Huh? How are you going to change your diet? I'll eat cats. Fair enough. You eat. But you, but you have you, you, you haven't had pussy in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. I had to quickly make that joke myself. <laughs> Okay. You're too predictable. But go on. Okay, as I was saying. So, uh, from there, uh, the grand, let's just call him Grandpa Samsung, okay? The mm-hmm. main patriarch. Mimi Samsung. Mimi Samsung. Mm-hmm. So, Mimi Samsung had four children. And long story short, uh, it was a huge succession battle. Mm-hmm. And then, the, I think the third or the youngest son mm-hmm. came out to be the most deserving of being the chairman of the Samsung. Uh, so, he was the sucker who had to pay the inheritance tax. <laughs> Something like that. But he was the most like... Okay, imagine Vince McMahon level of business mind. Okay. All right, all right. Very good. Okay, but minus the emotion. Because <laughs> Asian, emo- Asian, day. Asian, Asian, mm. all Asian. And Vince McMahon is not and a... minus the steroids. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's not get into that right now. <laughs> okay, so in Korea, you understand, like, it's very much similar to Bhutan. It's just that it's just more uh, hardworking and a little bit more development and advancement because of the other, what called industries. So, uh, mm. a lot of factory industries, mm. a lot of... Manufacturing industries, Bhutan doesn't have that. Maybe if mm. it had, it would be something similar. Values are very similar. People mm. are very look similar. Asian being more, mm. but then just that we are not they're not as laid back as Bhutanese. Okay. So just like that, the country is ruled, you know, like capitalistically, mm. like how we see Bhutan. Oh, five families rule the country because they're rich and shit. Mm. In Korea, they're like twenty. Okay, and there's mm. a title term for this. They call them the chebols. So which the chebols, what it means is, let's take a wealthy group, a wealthy family. So it's like the aristocrats. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, let's say, ogl- oligarchs. Is that the word? Oligarch. O- oligarch. Something similar. Okay. Bourgeois. Mm. So initially, it started with, long story, to make it short, more. Mm. After the Korean War, after North and South separated, mm. uh, Korea, South Korea became a, a democratic, capitalistic country. Yeah. And then their first prime minister, president, wanted to really, wanted to... You know, make the boost the economy. You know, really figure out everything to make the country rich and prosperous, and dep- not dependent on other shit. Because they've been through. You know what happened in the Korean War? You know, yeah. that, that's a complete another story. Korea got torn apart. You know, just yes. like China. Yes. So because of this, because of this, great people want to make money, do hard work. Everything was planned well. More they were doing well. No, mm. so they wanted to focus on three different industries. No, one was manufacturing of. Uh, ships and docks and all this stuff. Mm. One was in electronics and one was in uh, motor, no mm. vehicles. Mm. So like few people who were smart enough to get like uh, like the project or tender, no like to work on these parts. Mm. So one of those families was Samsung, about it. Mm. and they handled mainly ship, ship building, mm-hmm. building ships, docks and stuff, no tank and distribution. Mm. Then the other family was Hyundai. We all know what Hyundai is. They make cars. And then another one is LG. And you know, LG does, they make electronics. And electronics, oh, okay, whatever, yeah. appliances. So, as years went by, these companies did well. Korea benefited, it improved the GDP. But, like Asians are, very competitive. Samsung didn't want to just stick in their lane. It's like, no, no, I'm changing lanes. But I can't do that now because Sorry, someday but... you change the bus lane. Mm-hmm. But that's... <laughs> Sorry, I had to... Uh, after you told me that L... Because... Of LG now, all I kept thinking about was BTL. Yeah. No, no, if if LG made tanks, and like when you got into the tank, each time you open the tank, it would go ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and when you got a ding, 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 ding. Those of you who own an LG washing machine, you know what I'm talking about. Those who know, knows. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, go on. So yeah, um, Samsung decided okay. to change lanes. So Samsung, uh, with with like I said, with Chairman Lee. You know, very business-minded, very ambitious, and very intelligent, mm-hmm. and grit. Uh, he started, you know, diving into different things like you know, life insurance, okay. uh, televisions, mm-hmm. uh, what do you call hotels, mm-hmm. different kind of things with their money, investing advising. Like imagine, like Tourism, all that like stuff. like how like Tashu Group going into airlines and phones and shit like that, you know, yeah. expanding their businesses okay. as one would should do if you want to be successful. Fine. Yeah. So. There's now in 90s more, the TV boom came and then they capitalized. They started selling TVs like hotcakes. Mm-hmm. You know, even though LG was the main electronic guy, they still mm-hmm. sold TVs well. They became a brand now as an electronic brand. Yeah. You know? But Samsung was much more than that. I, especially in, in, for Koreans. For us outside, we looked more and we saw Samsung as it was, you know, like electronic brand. Obviously, later on, their main source of business was... Uh, Semiconductors, which are basically uh, microchips. Microchips, yeah. Uh, microchips for computer, for phone. Mm-hmm. And then they were like basically monopoly of Korea mm-hmm. and the rest of the world not 
Jaxe coins on though, maybe like 50-60 percent market share they're making it. Mm-hmm. And then even for cam- cameras for phones, camera, battery, mm-hmm. they make it but they mm-hmm. so they were manufacturing all this stuff and making good bank. Uh-huh. So <clears throat> semiconductor is also what you call a small bus conductor. I thought it was a mini conductor. Yeah, that also works. Or just a conductor. <laughs> okay. Mini, sorry, go on. Okay, so uh long story short, Samsung is very rich. Like in 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 uh, Korea, if you want to get uh, uh, life insurance, you get from Samsung. If you want to get a phone, obviously Samsung. If you uh, travel in the place, so it's probably already Samsung has already infiltrated to that place and helped their businesses invest it everywhere. No, right. like they have a lot of influence in the government also. Like because like so their company is like twenty percent owned by the Korean government. Mm. They also have so a stake, yeah. and they also own a lot of like uh, shares in government companies. So it's like they own a lot of the government, and okay, understand. like literally they own a lot of the government because right. of their shareholding. Mm-hmm. So they have a lot of influence. So when you have a company which is so influential like that, no, mm. in a country like that, you become like a pseudo royal family. Okay, man, it's so powerful, no? It's like the Kennedys in the states. Yeah, like that. So any so grab- or 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 I, or I think Trump would wish it was his, but. It's the Kennedys. Go on. Okay, so before I continue, I just want to say this is episode is inspired by Stephanie Su. She had a story about this mm-hmm. Samsung industry. I'm just really diving a little bit more on the background of what mm-hmm. Samsung is before I go into the real meat of this dish. Okay. Oh wait, so I've just been listening to the appetizer. You're just story. listening to the origin story, appetizer. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. So uh, if you want to actually check out the story, you should go to her channel. It's much more intuitive. I'm just giving you the bite-sized notes, mm-hmm. but let's continue. So. Because of this more, the whole society runs and structured of the Samsung body. When, when we say Koreans more, when we think about when we study, do you know like the stereotype the Korean kids study the whole life in high school so they get in a good college mm-hmm. and have a good career and all that? Man, mm-hmm. you've heard that? Have you heard of that? Yes, yes. So basically, sounds like, like Asia. Very, very Asian. No? The most <laughs> Asian thing. No? Yes. Like you know another thing like Konsugi, uh, the ha- Korean number no where is very mostly homogenous. People hardly speak English. Of course, there must be few, but majority must not more. Mm. They have the hardest English exam ever okay. in the world for the entrance exam. Mm. So it's, this is not the IELTS; it's the IELTS. Like kids, it's very common for kids to study sixteen hours a day. In, you know, mm. like Again, average sounds very Asian. Okay, more. Mm. And then this is basically done. Like, why do you say that? Is because kids more are basically incentivized to get into the best colleges mm. so they can work in the best companies and which is the best company of all Samsung ah so, so that's how they run like the whole structure from the ground level no okay. like the main entrance exam is so important so it's sort of like it, it's sort of like creating a workforce for this because the company is so glory glorified and it's it's such a successful and influential company yeah. that majority of the well not majority let's say like a good majority of the population has no been, no the majority vast majority the, the vast majority of the population has sort of been um, uh, influenced into thinking of working there yes and like top there. right like right. so I'm guessing Samsung also has like a lot of shares in these K-pop groups as well. Now that I don't know, maybe I could research some more. But this story is not really focused on that part. Okay, no, I just want. Yeah. But obviously they have to have. Yeah, Think the about S it. and BTS stands for Samsung. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Samsung. <laughs> so, guys, uh, where was I now? Uh, so, entrance exam demo is apparently such a big day in Korea more mm-hmm. that airports shut down. Airports shut down for one day because it's such a big day for exams. Okay. Yeah, like, sc- like people are given holidays. So mm-hmm. the traffic can be cleared, so kids can go to the exam in peace. Garbage trucks don't clean, they don't pick up trash. It's such a big day, but it's such an important day for a mm-hmm. young Korean person's life. Okay. It's, a, it's like a decision day, everyone. Mm-hmm. And when they do this exam, the ones who do well will get into the top three universities. Okay, they'll be like Seoul or Yonsei or something like that. I forgot another one. Mm-hmm. I'm not very really familiar, forgive me. Seoul, Yonsei and Beyonce. Okay, B. <laughs> B University. Oh. And together they're Beyonce University. Oh. So Khonsu, then they have to figure out what to do with their lives. No, mm-hmm. But then that's everyone's main object- objective is to get into these universities. Okay. It's very similar to Japan also. When I was yeah. in Japan, people used to target these three universities. They say, once we're in college, our life is set because now we're going to get recruitment from the, all these companies and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, analyze Shibda. And next step is, if you do graduate from these colleges, is you go for the Samsung employee entrance exam. Which every year on average one hundred thousand apply. So S E E T. Samsung employee. C. Seat. 
Okay. Employee. Si. Employee exam there? Yes, I'm sorry, employee exam. Entrance exam. See. Si. Si. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> You'll be disqualified first. <laughs> you cannot see today. You cannot see. <laughs> sorry, go on. So, Anna more one like me this on average beyond a year and more, which a few people get hired for. And then when they get hired also, mm-hmm. they get started at the lowest level and then they work their way at top. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that's what everyone usually dreams of to do all over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And people who go in, in Korea, like I don't know what other dreams you have, but people majority they will start like I will aim to work in these companies and when I do okay, be successful. But if I don't, then I have to start into a new career path. But I'll always aim for that first and then if I don't get, I'll go to the next part. Okay. So that's how everyone is indoctrined or like brainwashed to do. So it's like. basically the first choice is that. Mm-hmm. First choice is Samsung. Like kids usually in Korea, they say things you know, like after you get college more. It's mm-hmm. three aim law. No? Samsung, LG, SK. Mm-hmm. Samsung, LG, SK. It's like a song. Samsung, LG, SK. Samsung, LG. So these are the companies you aim for. Samsung, LG, SK. So, so these are the, the Chebol families. Okay. Mm-hmm. So another context about how big these Chebol companies and how big Samsung is, is these are very wealthy billion dollar industry companies more. Mm-hmm. But out of 20 more, uh, f- four companies is worth more than the rest of 16 combined. Okay. Okay. Understood. understood. More. And then Samsung is the biggest. So you can okay. consider how big they are in okay. that pool again. More. Right. Like they are the 1% and Samsung is the 1% of, of the 1%. 1%. Okay. So that's how big they are. So now we got a context of how Samsung mm-hmm. and how Korea runs this whole structure. How people are inclined to run their whole life around Samsung. No. The mm-hmm. Koreans even call it not even the Republic of South Korea. They call it Republic of Samsung. Mm-hmm. Ask any person who's from Korea, they'll answer and probably uh, mm-hmm. say it's correct. Okay. Okay. So now we go into the real meat of the story. So Chairman Lee has four children. Okay. Four pos- prospective successes. Mm. Okay. One son, three daughters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chairman Lee is a very strong businessman. He's very gritty. He doesn't show much emotion. Mm. But again, sounds like an Asian dad, but go he, on. He plays favorites. Oh. It's the son? No. It's always Daddy's little girl. Mm. So, the second daughter. Which one? I was about to say which. The oldest daughter. The oldest daughter. The oldest okay. daughter. He has. He has himself. He has a soft spot for her for some reason. Okay. Like when they're having gatherings, he's like normal. But then she'll sit next to his lap, and then she'll what do you call? Uh, he'll only like be nice and show emotion to her when he's emotionless. To the rest. Every time, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then now we'll give her a name. Let's call her uh, Princess Lee because that's what people call her. In Korea, yeah, because yeah. Chairman Lee is basically. What do you mean? Let's king. give her a name. You've done this already. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. so she has a legit name. Oh, no, but it's Princess Lee. Lee, okay. Lee something. B. Okay, Princess whatever. Lee. But Princess Lee is easier to pronounce. Okay. okay, so Princess Lee is not also a. Thing she's very name. princessly, isn't she? It's not a joke. There, she's not a joke. Like, like, mm-hmm. not a Lang Peng. You know, mm-hmm. she's very hardworking. She's very determined. Also, mm-hmm. people say that she's a carbon copy of Chairman Lee. Mm-hmm. What a perfect person to raise. You know. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I need. Mm. And, and the, about these Chebol families, that they're always like, you know, once you're wealthy and you're flashy, you're like everything, you'll be a little flashy, you'll be a little flexy, man. Mm. That can be understandable, no. Mm. But the, what's known about Samsung is they're known to keep a very low profile. They keep them to themselves. You know? Or the family. The family. I was about to say the company. I was like, yeah. I don't think so. So think about this, you know, like, like I said, the most Asian family, that's okay. Samsung. All right. Determined, hardworking, strict, disciplined, Keeps rich. to themselves, rich, you know. Mm. Okay. So, Princess Lee, you know, goes to all the best private schools, obviously paid by Appa and all. Mm-hmm. But, nobody knows who she is. Like, nobody knows that she's Princess Lee. So, you just think she's like, oh, maybe a regular girl, she got a scholarship. Mm. Maybe she's very smart, okay. So, she excels in the whole life doing this, mm. keeping a low profile. And she even, you know, does the entrance exam and gets qualified for Yonsei University all by herself with no strings pulling, no help, no more. Mm. Of course, help as an upper English teacher needs a bit more, but I didn't pull any strings saying, well, I get my daughter in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so. exactly how Chairman Lee sounds, by the way. So now Princess Lee goes to Yonsei University more. Mm. She does four years degree. Passes, does great. Okay. Mm. And then my three years degree making in Korea. Okay. Mm. Then after that, she goes to MIT in Boston and gets an MBA in engineering because she's because she can, okay? MBA in engineering? 
Okay, she gets a master's in something. Okay, yeah. That, okay. She gets a master's in something, but oh, she goes to yeah. MIT. Yeah. Okay, there okay. You go. So yeah. now she comes back. Now she's 25 years old. Okay, she's mm-hmm. got a degree from Yonsei. She's got a master's, master's from degree. MIT. Okay. She says, okay, now I'm going to work for Samsung. Why are you not following the story, man? I am following. I'm just like waiting for you to see. Why? <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Okay. So, <laughs> she's just been a dick and been like LG. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the point, Killing. So, tell me. So, Samsung Alab. I didn't see the point, but go on. Okay. So, Samsung Alab because of more upper mm. company, family company. Where do you think she starts? At the bottom. Of course, she starts at the bottom because that's how Asians do shit, man. Yeah, and she loves Drake. Okay. <laughs> mm. Good one. Okay. So, then, more pa goes to the. When do you start? No, you start as a intern. <laughs> And interns are not paid. Yeah, they just there to get coffee. So the princess of Samsung, the the most smart, most uh, hardworking, favorite child. most favorite child, is now working at the bottom collecting coffee. Mm. You know, printing copies, getting you know shouted at by her mm. bosses, bosses and everything more. And she does it with no complaint, with no one knowing who she is. For five years, she slogs, she climbs up the corporate ladder, and then she makes a name in Samsung. Okay, and then Chairman C, Chairman Lee says, okay. Finally ready. Five years. Now she's 30 years old, okay? Mm-hmm. And she they introduce, he introduces her to the whole company saying, this is my daughter. She's been here, blah, 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 more. And everyone's like, wow, like, they have to be impressed, man. Look at her more doing this, all that. But it makes me think also, see, what about all those bosses who must have been a dick to her now? How would they have felt, man? Like imagine one day, your intern, you should be an asshole too more. Passively, aggressively, or whatever, no, is now the daughter of the company. How insecure you must be feeling it. Chapna shuru karo. Man, I imagine, like, imagine if you did, like, you know, like, one day you just say something rude to her, like, hey, just get lost, something, no. Mm. And you hear that she's a princess, Dude, forget Our that. Her legs will be shaking. No, no, not just that, but imagine that, the, the, like, more so, like, yeah, I get like the guys who like the bosses who scolded her. You know? but imagine the ones who made inappropriate advances. Yes, yeah. Think about that, man. Yeah. Think about all Gemini. Like, mm, it's okay. I, I love it. Character building. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Character building. Yes. Okay. Anyways, now she's shit. Okay. That's that's quote word word for word what Gemini <laughs> said. What, yeah, you your girl, you the shit now. Okay, you can sit at the table. Yeah. So then at uh, the table, not on the table. <laughs> okay, at the table. At the head, not at the head yet, okay, mm-hmm. but... Sit at the table, a chair mm-hmm. at the table. Okay. It's so, like a weird, like, you know those mafia movies, no? What? I want a chair at the table. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta earn it. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, she earned it, okay? All right. So... Yeah, you earned it. <laughs> so, now, the next line to do is obviously... Now, in Korean, Asian culture, what do you think is the next thing to do? Get married. Obviously, good. You're <laughs> on to something. See, this is, I told you, this is a very Asian story. Uh, we can relate it a lot because our economy is not doing well. We are very Asian also, deep down rooted more. Mm. So, Korea is a very good co- example to look at like what an archetype of a Korean pers- Korean, indus- Korean country should be run. But also, like you can nitpick all the weird bits also. No. Mm. So, anyways, obviously, you want to get married. No. Mm. But what you do more, let's say you're a decent family, you know, what would you do? What do you mean? Like if you're a family, your daughter you know, needs to get married. Then you'd look for somebody who yeah, can... Yeah, yeah. What, what, who, so could, you can what? who could provide and take care of your daughter. Yeah, but let's be more generic. Um, Person from... A wealthy family. Obviously. Okay. So within the chibol, That's what I meant by who can look after and provide. Yeah, but then you're not being literal. But anyways... Dude, there's like subtleties, nuances, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> I am an artist. artist. I do not deal with the direct. Okay. Mama, I would like some lovely chai. chai. Me too, one more time. We should get some. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, go on with this. You're story. paying for this, man. You got your masterpiece project. Jack, <laughs> I'm not going to let it go for a bit. Okay. So, where was I? Uh, yeah, so she's supposed to get married. Okay. And now they're looking for a husband for her. So, obviously, within the 20 families now, they're known to uh, marry within, but they call mm. it wealthy inbreeding. Mm. Okay? Mm. Within the 20 families. Okay, I'm sure it's not incest, but it's within mm. those yeah, I, families. I get it. It's, it's consolidation of power. Oh okay, consolidation of power. Because obviously, mm. to succe- for succession, for wealth, for recast, yeah. everything. You mean, All the most Asian yeah. stereotype. Stereotype. Every country in the world has done that. I know, but and our it's, Asian it's, is more than that. No, and it's still done today. Yeah, of course, sure. I mean, you, you, you hardly ever hear like a rags to riches wedding, you know. 
it's usually always people always get married or find people because obviously for example um if you're somebody who belongs to like the upper middle class right yes you will always mingle with people from the upper middle yeah, class you, it's you, very rarely you, that you don't marry down you'd marry up or you'd marry down I don't down. I don't know about the down and up thing <laughs> Yeah, but like, yeah. Like in the thing, the social class, social yeah, yeah, yeah. class. In the in the social class, ladder, yeah, social where, whichever rung you are on, yeah. <laughs> so Anzum Bear, Upper <laughs> now sign gets a bunch of blind dates for our young princess. Lee. I was not invited. Well, sorry, you're not Korean, no. I could be Korean. Okay. Anam hasayo. But you will not be blind enough for the Koreans. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't pass the C. <laughs> <laughs> so Chairman Lee says a blind dates. Mm-hmm. A young princess Lee is set up. He say, "Okay, now you're in the family. You're at the table. Now, next thing you have to do is important for the succession and the importance of the family. Is we to want find you to have a baby, a spouse. Then, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought we already found the spouse. We didn't find a spouse. Oh, okay, sorry. I jumped blind ahead. Dates, blind dates. Right, okay. Blind dates, okay. So she starts going on this blind. No, okay. By the way, sorry. Uh, he also says, uh, you're going to be now an enemy now because everyone knows who you are, man. Now, yeah. now she was kept secrets from the public. You know, very low key. Yeah. Keeps them to, to themselves, private people." The family, even though they run like the whole country, so he says, "Okay, uh, you get a here's a bodyguard to take care of you." Mm. Actually, you know what? Ten bodyguards because you're Princess Lee. You need to be protected at all times. Mm. Okay, and you've got a voracious sexual appetite. Okay, <laughs> okay. So she starts going on these blind dates, and then she's been. Yeah, you don't know. She could have had a. Okay, she could have. Maybe she already yeah. has. Look, Mama's come here to join it. Mama's tum, tum, here tum. to join. Okay. Say hi, Mama. Hi. Don't fight that. Don't fight. <laughs> don't fight. I don't think anyone respect, can fight. Respect. Respect. I don't think anyone can fight in mamas. Look at the size of this. Do no you beat the shit out of anyone else who fights? Like pythons on the arms. I don't see so. Pythons on the arms and inchworm on the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest. This tea was brought to you by Inchworm Coffee. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, go on. So, ten bodyguards. Yeah, then blind date no journey goes wrong, Tuga. So she goes on these blind dates, meets with these people. Uh, up was like, how's it going? She's like, okay. But then she's in this blind date. She's bored. Not so interested in them. I think she's there more. So the up was like, okay, are you still finding a match more? Mm. How's it going? It's like not really more. So one day she goes. Up says, okay, now we got another blind date. The Nawani, blah blah blah. Okay. Mm-hmm. She says like, no, I don't want to go. He's like, why? Because I already found a partner. Up. He's like, who? My bodyguard. Oh wow. And that's the end what of episode twist. one, <laughs> part one. Is that really the end of episode one? No, I can't just end it like that. Oh. Come on. I mean, you could. I mean, <laughs> but this, just, but, this. but we're only thirty minutes in. I'm it? so invested. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I built up the first act. So, context again. So now, now she wants to marry her bodyguard. Yes. I'm guessing Papa does not want that. You think? Probably. So. Yeah, Chair- I try to every now and then thinking it's it's a good habit. <laughs> so Chairman Lee, like I told you, is very stern man. Doesn't show much emotion. Very stoic. Mm. No, when he heard the news, the people reported that he almost had a heart attack. He fainted almost. So that's how much it affected him. No, like imagine a rock fainting. <gasps> <laughs> so I he was really rock faint. Okay, more oh, and that's actually the good one. He woke. Uh, he got slow. He took it really not well. Okay, and another thing is. Just like much Asians do, Gibana. You do realize that, sorry, what? that that Princess Lee just this whole like just a few minutes ago we were talking about how people from a certain group will always like not always but most of the time marry into that echelon, right? Yeah. And look at Princess Lee breaking that stereotype. Yeah, that's why I was very happy you were poking on that because oh, that's right. how, exactly where I was going with it. Mm-hmm. But then, like, think about this, no? like, this wealthy oh family. God, this is Whitney Houston's The Bodyguard. Yeah, yeah it, it is The Bodyguard. It is The Bodyguard. This and die! Sorry. I baited you into listening to my own K-drama story. Mm-hmm. So, Krishlo, families, so they don't marry down, but they, especially when you're at the top 1%, you know, mm-hmm. you'll always try to maintain the status quo. You'll not marry somebody lower, you know, because these people in these families are well-educated, mm-hmm. well, good background, they're smart, they're beautiful, they're everything, okay? Mm-hmm. They're like royalty. Plastic surgery at that. Yeah, that also. Mm-hmm. And then, Krishlo, people of a lower caste cannot marry upper caste, okay? Who Just says? like Romeo and Juliet. Who says? Uh, Who society. Says? Yes. Okay. 
So who says the caste system? <laughs> no, then, so the upper is really upset. Okay, he's like, okay. Uh, obviously no, this ain't gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. And you don't get to marry a bodyguard. Okay. I forbid it. Okay. And she's like, no, I'm gonna marry a bodyguard. She's like, Papa, I love him. Yes. Okay. So I'm like, Papa, I love him. Okay. Now try to convince me. Now imagine you. Let's role play. I'm Princess Lee. You know. You try to convince me. You're Princess Lee. I'm. I'm. I'm Princess Lee in this moment right now. So you're the woman. Okay. okay. And you're Chairman Lee. Okay? okay. Try to convince me not to marry the bodyguard. Um, he won't be able to look after you. That's okay. I'm educated. I can look after myself. What will people say? You belong to one of the richer families. You belong to one of the biggest families. What will other people say that you married below your station? I know it might affect me, but I love him, Daddy. Don't you care about the honor of your family? Did I raise you? Did I work all this? Did I pour my heart? Did our family pour our heart, sweat, and tears into this to see you marry somebody who is not worthy? Well, Father, I thought that too, but love changed my mind. Shall I compare thee to us? <laughs> okay. Um, wait, uh, wait, I got no. one more. You're not using the right ones there to convince me. Ah, uh, to convince you. Um, oh, I will disinherit you. Ah, good one. So that's what he did. He said, "I'll, you will get zero inheritance. He's worth billions, okay, by the way. Okay. Billions, obviously, richest family in Korea. So she's like, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I, like I said, uh, you do, I've had really good education. I've worked in the company for very long. Mm. Uh, I can earn just as well by myself. And I can build myself up. I can build myself up. Okay, and she's that. Dad, dad's like, fuck. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, the threatening did not work. So I'll try. Princess her... Lee, you've got a nice set of ovaries on you. Okay, so, what? I don't want to say balls because balls. I don't <laughs> like this idea oh, that yeah. balls do not mas- like mas- strength and bravery. But testosterone, no. the testosterone creates masculinity. Masculine energy. Well, bravery does not necessarily hinge on the fact of whether or not you have balls. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you that. So where does it come from? The show of this? It just comes from a strong will and a strong spirit and well-educated people. Oh, nice! What a <laughs> motivation speak quote in the middle of this. Uh, you have no idea. I'm starting on third part. <laughs> I'm the cuck, man. I'm, I'm the cuck. I'm starting a third podcast. I'm, it's I'm called Getting Motivated with Kinley. It's two minutes of me just telling you all very motivational things to get you out of bed. Sorry, go on. How are you getting out of bed? Huh? How are you getting out of bed? With like your this? own... <laughs> How I get out of bed? Um, It's usually get up. Uh, I keep my ukulele at my side and I start playing it for like 10 minutes. Then I get out of bed. Ah, okay. Great for you. Then. Okay. Sorry, go on. So, yeah. So, she, she's, he tells her that he'll disinherit her. She says she has all the resources yeah. to build herself up. Mm-hmm. And he says, fuck, that didn't work. Okay. Those are his exact words. Those exact words. I'm fuck. saying it verbatim. Exactly. <laughs> Research it. Yeah. <laughs> Quote more. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there in Wikipedia. It's oh, like no. after he heard that Chairman Lee, app- Chairman Lee allegedly said, fuck, that didn't work. Okay. I'm giving you an idea. You could probably make this into a Bhutanese context movie. No? Yeah. <laughs> it's very Asian though, anyways. Uh, so, I'm sure there are some Bhutanese directors who are listening. Uh, but I, I doubt they can adapt. This is very convoluted. Uh, so, then he tries to use another method. He says, now, it's, it, it, threatening will not work. So, let me just try to give something she wants. Uh, okay. I see the game you're trying to play. Uh-huh. Okay. It's a good game. So, what do you want? You want more money? Top, I'll give you more Oh, so he thinks that she's doing this just to raise her station no this is unheard of see. like do you mm-hmm. think like our like let's say our girl say in the future is going to marry some pandokangi daughter or mm-hmm. pandokangi thing mm-hmm. like okay sorry if you're a pandok no 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 but that's never gonna happen okay right. that's never gonna happen no 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 i understood what you're trying to say okay yeah. so royal family will never marry you to the to the let's say a blue collar kind of working class no right? understood oh, yes. no. so uh, chairman will never allow that to happen mm-hmm. Like, let alone a lay person who's like a salary employee man. You know, All right. Never a blue collar person. Dude, he's a bodyguard. Blue collar work then? It's still blue collar. Like, very high blue collar, you could say. Yeah. But blue collar. Okay, all right. Okay. Blue collar. Blue, blue collar. Blue collar. So he says, okay, you want money? I'll give you money. He's like, yeah, no, I'm good. What? Oh. Does he start thinking that the bodyguard is like holding her hostage for money or something like that? Yeah, he thinks that too. But okay. he investigates. It's not. That's not the case. So let's not dive into that. Okay. So he thinks. Uh, wait. Okay. Maybe she wants power. Okay. You want. You want CEO. You want to be CEO. Okay. Be CEO. Be CEO. You know. You want to be chairman also. Be chairman after I, I retire. You can okay. be. But just don't do this. Yeah. And she's like. No, so basically, daddy, I will I give love you. Him. Basically, I will give you everything. Yeah. Just don't do this. Do this for me. Yeah. Because image matters a lot. Right, yeah. Very easy. Very easy. And she's like. No, daddy, I love him. <laughs> All right. Daddy! Uh, oh, God. 
Okay. So context about Mr. Bodyguard. Mm-hmm. So when she had ten bodyguards, no, all were like no chatty and polite, all no. Mm-hmm. But there was this one bodyguard, no, and he was quiet, and he was mysterious, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Who's who's that one? Who's who's he? Who's?" Who's this one? He seems mysterious. Mm. I know. I want to know about him. Mm. So she starts to know about him, and then apparently they hit it off. Okay, mm. and then it's a very gay drama thing. It's like mm. both of them actually kind of liked each other. There was tension in the air, but no one could say it. No. What's this guy's name? Mr. Lee. Uh, let's just call him Bodyguard Boy. Okay. <laughs> let's call him Bibi. So Bodyguard na lani bibi bio bad ba bebda. She, Princess Lee, got the courage to say, "You know what? He's not gonna say it. I'll go and say it." She's like, "You know what, bodyguard boy? I I'm like you." Electricity between us. Yes. Okay. Add a little bit. Okay. So who's gonna be bodyguard? I'll be bodyguard. You'll be bodyguard. Okay. Okay. Bodyguard. okay. Um, yes, Princess Lee. Could you like not be bodyguard all the time? <laughs> Just relax. You know, there's nothing going on here. We are here at the North and South Korean border. There's no risk at my farm towards my life. You can relax. No, I must protect you at all times, Princess Lee. Even if to the last sparkle of my eye. So, are you saying that you are beholden to protect me forever? Awkward silence. Hey, <laughs> Bajay, my gosh, hey, Bajay, smooth life. <laughs> Uh-huh. Ima- insert glowing effect. Mm-hmm. Uh, crisscross of them looking at each other, multi-cut. For some reason, there's a sunset in the background. And credits roll. Yeah. Okay. Only you. Okay. Okay. Goblin soundtrack. If those who don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mama's like dancing for some reason. Go on. So, so bodyguard. When, when she hears the news, when he hears the news, he's shocked. He's like. <gasps> Mm, yeah, I like you. Blah blah blah. There is no way this can end well for him. Yeah. Best case scenario, he gets bribed and leaves the country. No one hears about him. Yeah. Worst case scenario, they kill him. Dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Tortured. Everything. Worst case scenario, he wakes up in a camp in North Korea. Mm, back to the wrong side of Korea. Yeah. More. You wanted to go. You, if you didn't want to stay in Lee, you go to Kim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So which longer that? Uh, apparently, the reports is like he's like, no, this is not gonna be a good thing. More, and he mm-hmm. does his pants, and they're also like, like, what are you doing? Like, no, yeah. we like to live our life, you know. Yes. Don't piss off the royal Wrong family people. more yeah. <laughs> of the of our country, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, people also say like they might have not reacted that way. Like, imagine your pauper life and your son now married, marrying the most richest person we ever know. Potentially marrying. Okay, but if they do, like you're inheriting billions, no, on collateral, no, yeah. Yeah. So like, I would like consider myself on the half part of my head, even yeah. if I'm scared. Oh, lottery game in there, yeah, yeah. Mena, generational, yeah. not generational, you know, generational yeah. wealth, multi, infinite wealth. Mm. Okay, Mena. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, that's that. Okay, so she stubborn. She says, "No, I'm gonna date him." So Upper's like, oh, "His threatening didn't work." He's incentivizing. I thought I'm always so. Karak ma to him mo. So kailan mo tup? Ati si compromise bega mo. Why don't you just go on a few couple of blind dates? That to decide mo problema. Then if you meet anybody, you might meet nice, somebody better than the bodyguard. Yeah, yeah that's his intention. Mo. Then then ta be able you try it. Okay, and she's a good daughter, so she says, "Okay, I'm si compromise bega." So she goes on this blind date, but just out of like the sake. So like ta be able completely do my own thing by just sitting in the chair completely whatever you say I just like retract or just say you know mm-hmm. no and it's not working okay mm-hmm. and Appa is catching on and then she also is like you want to continue this and finally 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 Chairman Lee concedes okay and they agree on marriage okay but media lu tengo mena de ni chavi si this is going to obviously become a scandal okay but we have to let's let's at least money. Title head the headline the mana let's mm. sparkle it at city jashi zogi okay. no let's add a little fresh paint mana make okay. it a little fluffy so what they tell the public is yes she is marrying a commoner but he's not her bodyguard mm. he was actually a you know a junior member in the corporate level you know in the company yeah. that we had kept undercover as a bodyguard shut up so I was correct wasn't I no okay. shut up 
But then, <laughs> then you don't ask questions like this, kinda. Okay? okay. Just listen what and you agree. Okay. You just listen and agree. See, this uh, is agree why to. Bhutanese people are going to Australia. Agree, <laughs> agree to agree to my story, kinda. I am telling you the truth. Do not deny it. Okay. So they met at a charitable function. Somebody clearly has been watching Fox News, but go on. While they were volunteering, kinda. They were oh. volunteering. And if you change your mind, he's not a bodyguard. He's mm. a corporate employee. They were volunteering. They're very nice people. They met there. Mm. And that's the, the story they painted. All right. And by the way, this bodyguard Duvena average looks at best. Look mm. average looks. Nothing special, nothing mm. ugly. Also, average looks. And chairman was oh, Princess Lee Duvena. I forgot to mention. Mm. Movie star, good looks. Sure. Movie star, me. Okay, you can Google her also. Okay. Lee something, Lee Byun Juk or something. Mm. Okay, movie star, good looks. So this none of this makes sense. Okay, from mm. everyone's point of view. From her, from him, from the family, from the public, cut this is misery. But yeah, everyone, everyone can call bullshit, basically. But it is, it is what it is. But there's mm. like, you cannot make sense of it. It's not, a, it's not like a scandal. Also, it's mm-hmm. actually it happening, but okay. we don't understand why it's happening. It's like an anomaly. It's like an exception to the rule mm-hmm. of the society. So we're witnessing it in full glory. So wedding happens, okay? okay. And Jeremy Lee, no, like I told you, emotionless man is walking. Princess Lee down the aisle, okay? okay. Usually, this man with no emotion, no matter. In every picture they get, he's pissed, visibly pissed. Okay, he's like not even like. Look like he's you. He's like say. he's like. Every picture, okay, pissed off, all the time. So now wedding's done. People, public has been notified. Now whether that's the truth or not, you take it now. That's what Samsung has painted more. Uh, so he's like he goes to bodyguard boy BB and he says, BB. If you thought you were good enough for my daughter, no, you're you are not. You are not. You will never be, as long as I'm alive. More, but while you're in this family, you have to pull up your own socks, okay? And by the way, this bodyguard more has no education also. He only class twelve. <gasps> we just said how important education is, man. This guy doesn't even have college degree. Okay. So I'm sending you off to college, MIT. <laughs> Because I'm Chairman Lee, I can I can send you to MIT. So he goes to MIT. You no, know, what do you think happens? Find someone else. No, he just suffers in in college there because this guy is a blim, blimbering idiot there. College MIT na jo me. Okay, okay. He can't even understand. The, he can't doesn't even know I all the. I don't know. I just thought that this is like I am. Twenty six alphabets in Michelin school, like that, that's how bad his like his intelligence level is. Well, okay, go on anyway. So could go slow. He's not a smart, bright man. Okay, nothing wrong with that, but not a bright man. But MIT na jo mo, so he gets mm-hmm. depressed. He's having a hard time. The kadi bena mashimo. So he calls the wife and says, "I'm feeling depressed. I might even, you know, like how the YouTuber said, 'I'm alive myself.' Mm-hmm. Okay. Ranso rangi chini se. Ranso rangi chini. My God, what a long word. Mm-hmm. So, Kuchlo, she tells Daddy Lee. No, Daddy Lee. The Chairman Lee. Chairman Lee. Daddy, Daddy Lee. Lee sounds like the wrong person. <laughs> Go on. Chairman Lee. Oh. No, Daddy, my husband. Baby is. Is not having good time. You know he might die. Daddy, can we bring him back to Korea? Mm. And what do you think, Jeremy Lee says? No. Huh? No. Of course, darling, for sure for you. So he brings him back to Korea. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> man's giving mixed signals. But go. <laughs> and then Gushlo. Uh, The story has got more family drama than a Hindi serial. Okay. <laughs> so now he comes back and then he has to work, man. So he works in Samsung, obviously. So where do you think he works? <sighs> I'm guessing in a thing that he's not qualified for. Hmm? Something that he's not. Vice for. President of Samsung Electronic Division. No, oh, lovely. <laughs> okay. We just heard about how Princess Lee had to slog through a whole career character arc, man. Hmm. This boy was just literally won two lotteries in the span of months. Okay. Okay. And now he's the Vice President of one of the biggest. I think we're trying to. I think we're, we're we're kind of glossing over the fact that did he want that though? Doesn't matter. Image matters. No, you're the Princess Lee's husband. You have to be in the powerful position to maintain the status quo. Yeah, that's bullshit, man. Like if you're going to be forced into doing something you don't want to do, he's just a position. He doesn't do shit. You just slap a label on him. Let the other people do the work. Oh, all right, okay. Okay, so like when you look at this, you can look at it in context. But what I see is like, look at Chairman Lee. So driven by career, emotionless, strict. You know, hmm. everything good, acumen, gara. But you want to make a man weak. Give her a daughter. Give him a daughter, man. Okay. <laughs> See there, he's crumbling there. All his values, his what do you call things he will never compromise. Never what do you call? Uh, But is that necessarily for? weakness? Business-wise, yes. Okay, 
image matters man you not do anything to compromise that image man mm-hmm. like if i would like if a business strong businessman or would probably like make him disappear or convince her otherwise no matter what no even if she didn't like it ruin the family relationship in sake of the business no but then he had a soft spot <coughs> you know he had a soft spot and he, he wanted to uh, fix that before other obligations so mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying you know you want to make a man weak give him a daughter anything which will jeopardize your daughter's safety you will do that right <coughs> right <Manna, coughs> see mm-hmm. so okay. a good villain arc so wish longa uh now meantime let's take a little side quest yeah, i'm just like thinking about all my cousins <laughs> like, how you can manipulate them with no, your daughters no no, no like, all all my cousins who are like all females in their family why no because you just said if you want to make a man we could give them daughters no. i'm like then in my head i'm thinking I'm like, no that's not true but go on then anyway. no if, i i okay let's get, get no, we'll not get into that no not get into that right okay. so the slow <laughs> you've only yeah, got 10 minutes by the way oh god yeah, i can just speed track this yeah. okay so now okay i want to go into the side quest i'll go jump back into the thing there mm, okay so bodyguard boy mm-hmm. now is the vice president of the situation of the company ye the electronic division more big mm-hmm. company now then now when you're in a position like that without much knowledge no what would you how would you feel unworthy yeah insecure insecure, right? insecure yeah. yes so that is always over there no mm-hmm. but something which happened within him no which i feel very is which is kind of common is like, you know what this is like rise you know, to the occasion no you give you give one average guy a chance and he thinks he's the shit mm-hmm. have you heard that thing then i think i heard billy eilish say something like something that something like that no something like that and she said give an ugly guy a chance yes. and he thinks he's the shit yeah that, that's something again stupid but cool stupid but something kind of actually makes sense in this character so this bodyguard boy mm. starts to think he's the shit thing. like i'm not a regular looking guy I must be very good looking. I must be very charismatic. I must have something in me. That princess Lee. Like Because it. the princess Lee, the movie star, good looking princess Lee. Of all people, all the cheerful good boys over there, she picked me over them. Okay. I'm the shit. I am the shit. You know, I am S H I T. I am him. Mm. Okay, whoever he is, that is me. Okay. Mm. So he starts being a prick in the company. He starts trying to say Throwing shit. Trying his weight around. Trying his weight around. Trying to like, say like this is right, even though he has no like any. value people give so people hate him because he's first of all not making any sense and he's secondly he's an asshole okay, okay. And the yeah. second thing he does is he starts partying mm. drinking gambling doing all this stuff okay not really good for the image and then the third thing he does is he starts cheating on her oh no meticulously a lot meticulously okay mercilessly i don't know <laughs> meticulously sounds like wow he really planned that shit okay like a lot okay okay like okay. Okay. endlessly endlessly sorry yeah, sorry about lack of you know use of what adjectives in is that even adjective intensifiers okay intensifier wow <laughs> so i and mean, you can teach the indian kid to like <laughs> yes uh <laughs> <laughs> so this long ago so this guy again well, now you think that's the worst part no is gambling also but guess that's fine there's a lot of money an infinite amount is like a black hole of money amount no okay then then more he starts beating his wife oh no princess lee oh no and then she gets pregnant what from the beating no anyway. oh yes <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go on. Sorry. She impregnates him, though. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> she, in South Korea, you she, never know. You never know. She's plastically impregnated. Okay. She, she's pregnant with their child, and he's still beating her. Okay. Okay. So she doesn't tell anybody because image matters, succession oh, matters. Shit. You know. Really, you need improve. Above all, more even though this is fucked up from every corners from his side, no, mm. you need to protect your image. You're mm. a, not just a normal lady, you know. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I understand. And then you can report to the police also because yeah. again, scandal. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell family because this is going to look not only bad on him, also worse gonna, on you. Yeah, that's going to have. You idiot! I, I told yeah, you not to do it. Yeah, now you yeah. just forget about higher chemo. You're going to be housewife now. Get lost and stay in the you know stay with the comfort women or the forgotten women in India, the widows in Chicago, something like that. I don't okay. know. I'm I'm thinking. Yeah, he just went cross cultural but <laughs> so she keeps it down her you know, raps me mm-hmm. so when this all happens she's thinking you know what what is the most important thing in my life my career mm-hmm. yeah i don't like to 
I don't have want anything else other than my career morning. Of course, my children is there, but that cup my career comes first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not this asshole. I can live without this asshole. I can go through. I can go through this scandal. I can pick, build myself up. I can become really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. At this point, she like really does well in this hotel in line, and she makes like profits boosts up. Okay, mm-hmm. for this uh, what you call division hotel okay. division. Like usually, women in this kind of societies are just known to be housewives, stay home, take care of the husbands, or be like in charge of like female kind of feminine kind of industries, like yeah, the understand. art department, mm. the museum department, the philanthropic department. Mm. They take care of that. They don't really take care of this really corporate kind of mm-hmm. what called side industries. No, she's like the president of that hotel industry. She does really well. Okay, she's like this is what like, I want. I don't need him. Mm-hmm. So she divorces him. Okay. Okay. And. I want to ask what Chairman V thought. Okay, I think uh, she would have been happy. I feel at this point, I think Chairman Lee is in a Dead. coma. Okay. okay, okay, he's in a coma mm. for unrelated reasons. But maybe this took a toll also. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's heart attack. Top coma chances me. So when that is happening, uh, the husband, the man, Mr. Bodyguard Boy, Kogi, mm. he tells her, "I'm going to sue you for one billion dollars." Oh wow. It's like why? It's like nah, we, we built this together. I want one billion dollars. So mm-hmm. another heated argument, court scandal. Okay. So court na joni ramda. They check and it's not like America fifty fifty split. They check about how much you contributed and mostly mm-hmm. of her value of her richness doesn't come from the money she made. It's mainly stock options, like shareholding, mm-hmm. speculative. Yeah. So she owns a lot of stock but not actually cash. Okay. So actually, what assets could so combine? So she doesn't have liquid assets. Liquid assets. Yeah. So liquid assets could you combine with them? Well, roughly comes about six point sixty five million dollars. Mm-hmm. You worth okay, but that's some change for them because she's worth billions. You know, yeah. like the fam. Her, her, her yeah, herself alone more. If, if you can check the value of the shares, she's worth like four billion. Forget the whole family. Okay. okay? So he wants the, all that peace. So they go to court and she has a good lawyer or whatever. But then they check out that no, like this is mostly what she got before she met you. And what you built together is just a little bit of this. So you only entitled about six to five. Yeah. And from that you contributed, you can only get six point five million. So yeah. court mandates six point five million collision divorce yeah. proceeded. Okay. And he's like, no. Now this six point five million, he can probably live out his great life. Maybe his mm. children also he can make good more mm. thing through. But he doesn't listen. He's like, I want a billion dollars. Mm. So, in the meanwhile, this another scandal breaks out. Okay, a nurse comes out and reveals that Princess Lee is a drug addict. She comes to the hospital at odd hours. And we all know what South Korea does with the drug issues. No, see. With the recent one with okay. the parasite character. So they, they they hate thing about the Goshlo drug addicts for some reason in Korea. It's like really down looked upon. Like you can be in a sex scandal, you can be mm. in a what you call gambling scandal, but not be in a drug scandal. That's mm. the worst image. Mm. Okay. Mm. So Ani uh, Bejindale, later on she comes out and she says, you know, like I never was addicted to drugs. I make a joke. I went for to heal some scar scar in my leg, mm-hmm. and to heal some tissue in my eyes. Money mm-hmm. eye lift. I never did it for another month. So you can believe what you want. So apparently, media does a dig, and she's right. The nurse was paid by, by the BB. bodyguard. Sorry, ex BB. Ex BB. Yeah. And but BB told her was like, I'm gonna get a billion dollars soon. I can't pay you, but once I get it, I'm gonna pay you. Oh wow. <laughs> So that failed miserably. All right. Okay. So, anyways, now she got divorced, and then she became her thing. Okay. okay. Now, I just speed ran it because you said you have short on time. No, but here's an interesting theory to these stories. People say that she was behind it all. She was. She was behind it all. How? You'd say, right? Yeah. See, like I told you. What a twist. Woman in Korean culture, especially in high, high society. I was like, please, please. <laughs> Huh? In my head, I was like, "Oh no, he's going to say something about women." No, in, in Korean culture, <laughs> like I told you, their norm, their roles are mostly to look after the you know, feminine yeah, departments yeah, yeah, or be housewives. No, they never reach the position of power. They're socially yeah. stereotypical. You marry a, a, a powerful, successful man. You're a powerful, successful woman. He will take care of the business. You take care of the family. No. Yeah. But who did she marry? A bodyguard. Yeah. Is he capable of running the whole company? No. Is he capable of becoming a position of power? Oh my God. I think I'm getting what you're going for. She orchestrated the whole thing so that she could lead. And what did I tell you the story the whole time? Princess Lee wasn't a dumb girl. She yeah. was a driven girl. She was yeah. went through grit and grime and everything. Oh wow! She when so Jeremy, poor bodyguard was also. A, I mean, not poor like dude was a 
dude, dude. It's a pawn. Yeah, it was a pawn. Maybe. And so Chairman Lee, after he went to the coma, no, the CEO was Acho, and Acho went into jail for some uh, tax evasion kind of crimes, no. At that time, they were considering who to be the official CEO, no, and they were considering her lower mm. So right now, for her us to make sense, yeah, she's deserving winner. But in, in the context in, of their in, culture, in the culture, it's context. never possible to think a woman could be in the position of power. Yeah. But she got there because of why. Of course, she did a great work, but then who's her spouse? Not nothing great, mm. you know? mm. So, one other theory is mainly is like she actually fell in love with him. Also, oh, these are theories. Yeah. Okay. She actually fell in love with him, and then she reached to the power, and then she just wanted to use him also because he's a layman. But then stay together properly, and then him becoming an asshole, drug addict, beating her was just something she didn't, you know, uh, unaccounted for. Very unaccounted for. So I what? But I really think now she did not do this by mistake, you know. She planned this out, eh? Mm. So, but that's just a theory. <laughs> so what do you think, Inle? I think you it's got an what? How many minutes to give up your theory? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an interesting tale. I am. You got five minutes, do they? Okay, yeah. so let's 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 <laughs> indulge. Let's delve deep. Uh-huh. So, do you, what do you think? In do you think she kind of was the puppet master? I don't think. Uh, I don't know, man. For me, at the end of the day, it's like she got the results she wanted, I suppose. Yeah, she got full and custody we don't, of the child. Yeah, we don't know if, 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 like. She doesn't need a man. She just has a career. She's doing well. Mm. You know, she, she, she doesn't have to be a housewife. She's a career woman. Day. I think this is a tale of women. In- <laughs> yes, that's actually, if women want heroes, no, she's the one, man. Yeah. She's the one. Of I course, guess. like, don't go around. Marrying bodyguards. Or, 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 no, no, I mean, if you want to, yes, but like orchestrating, you know, these giant, intricate, like web of lies and, you know, espionage stuff mm. going on. But if this is what's, if, the, if, if that theory that you said is mm. correct, that's, that's like, that is nice. No, that that's is, very, quite interesting. That's very interesting. But this is a true story then. This actually, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like she's right now still there. Her brother's a CEO right now. And then, like, anything could happen in the next five years. This could be just a, you know, small stepping stone to the House of Cards, mm. you know, season, series arc. Mm. You know. mm. That's interesting. So we'll see where she goes. But then it will still be difficult because a woman to be a CEO, you know. Mm. And then Acho is still good. But maybe, who knows, then maybe she'll find a way to twist her way to the top. I won't be mm. surprised, man. So we'll stay tuned. Okay. But I think... Um, Though I don't want to believe that this was all connived. Mm. At the same time, I think throughout human history, uh, we are we have seen these sort of things happening, mm. right? Like, I mean, there's a reason why literature is so full of these sort of ideas, you know, like like the conniving, you know, plotting mm. characters. It's because human beings are capable of doing yes, such yes. things and we have done it throughout our history. If it, yeah, I think it's an interesting story, and I like, and it's what's even more amazing is that it's a true story. Yes, yes. and I feel like something like, like I said, no, about Asian DNA, like the most Asian, you know, family, no, in in a developed world. I don't see it's far fetched to see something like this happening in Bhutan. But the women are still too timid, so maybe not in a foreseeable future. I mean, didn't we actually do something like this when we were doing Dashobashi? Oh, you're right. Well, yeah, we did that, didn't we? Because at the end, the twist uh, was... No, our story was going way off track. No, but then we somehow still managed to bring it in. There. No, but you think the story wasn't going way off track? You know, where do you think it was going when I was telling you the story? Where, where do you think it was going? I wasn't thinking it. We'll really go into K-drama. <laughs> no, no, no. In my head, I was just like, mm, okay, this is probably going to end in a, you know, like, like, this is like, for me, it's like this. This is the real world. I don't believe that all the time good things will happen because you want it to happen. So in my head, I was just waiting for you to be like, "Oh, something bad happened." Mm. But I just found the story interesting because we all know about Samsung, we know about Korea, but we never knew all this side of like Samsung has this powerful influence, the family, and the dynamic you know, of the most known family in the country. What a big scandal and story! Yeah. So that's about it. Yeah. Okay. If you want to do a little bit of research for yourselves, read it up. Yeah, check it out and. Uh, if you like this kind of style of uh, new form of uh, maybe we won't do it every week, but we can always like alternate. No, it. Kinle, you have no say now. You go to your oh, masterpiece. Oh shit! You, you go to your I master- have a say in this. Sir. You, go, you go to I your masterpiece. M- okay, I'll a- go to my master shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> master chef, master chef, master shit, masterpiece. Okay, mm. 
master so puke. salty someone is master sugar okay there you can do what you want but master this, bed as long as you're in my domain i am the one who knocks why are you, why why are you knocking in your own domain open no i didn't just okay uh, you're in my domain but could you like let me in All right guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, I enjoyed I learned so much thank you sai for the education yes on korea and um, then let yeah. me let me just let's so romanticize people from korea just from seeing the k drama and the pops sometimes scandals like this is actually more prevalent oh and the juicy and there's juicy. So juicy so juicy so juicy definitely okay. google the story up for yourselves and i'm pretty sure sai might have forgotten certain details here and there yes for sure so definitely do your own fact checking we encourage that follow us on our socials yeah and also subscribe to this channel or also follow us on spotify and soon we'll be back with the camera format right yes as soon as i get that sorted out <laughs> bye bye tata till the next episode